Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create simulated uh, gummy beans, gummy worms, uh, swirly, uh, I don't know, but uh, this is what we're going to recreate, which is a combination of uh, soft body and deformation. In this simplified scene, I have, uh, let me turn everything off except for the capsule over here. So let me bring it out, press H, you will see there's a capsule up here. And it has a bend deformer which has a keyframe in the strength. It's set to unlimited mode, so if I press play, it's just going to do this. Fantastic. Now, let's put it under a cloner object. And you will see that now we have a bunch of these. I'm going to turn on my random just so we can get some randomized color. But don't forget that when you add a random effector, set the parameter to be effector color. And in the effector, set the minimum in the min max, which is usually folded, to zero. So we don't get negative color values. Okay, let's uh, get back to our setup. We can see now that all these uh, little worms are just oscillating based on the animation of our bend deformer. I have this floor, which I'm going to right click, go to the simulation tags and add a collider to it. And I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to go to the cloner and add from the simulation tags a soft body tag. Fantastic. Let me unclick here. I'm going to frame this and press play. And you will see that although my deformer seems to be working, these uh, worms are not moving. And that's because my simulation takes over the point position animation and uh, none of the deformations are applied to the object. And there's one click we need to add to this to make it work. Go to your simulation tag, whatever that is, a soft body or cloth tag or anything like that. Go to the mix animation tab and all the way down to the bottom, activate the follow shape. This does not need to be combined with any of the mix animation modes. Now, when you rewind, press play, you will see that any deformation, any shape animation is going to propagate to the object and it's going to be both simulated and deformed. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.